Lucy Hume's History Project of the Martin Bailey Castle. First up, I have a drawbridge that stops any invaders and helps you get across the moat. In my Martin Bailey Castle, I have included an armory for all the soldiers. And on the interior design, I have added chainmail because that in those days that is what the soldiers would be wearing. Next up we've got the villains' houses. They're quite small as they would have been in those days. Is they, but apart from that, good. Next up we've got the farm animals. It's chickens because that would have been what they ate in those days and some pigs. Next up we've got the blacksmiths for furnaces and crafting tables and anvils so for the horses hooves and to make weapons for the soldiers if any threats may come. And we've got some crops which again sustains the life inside this Martin Bailey castle. And we've got the stables, which, which the horses stay in, that carry the knights into battle, slash soldiers. And then we've got the soldiers' quarters. In those days there wouldn't have been much room for them, so it's quite cramped and muddy and brown, as that's probably what the dye would have been, or what they dyed. And next up, we've got the keep on the mat. I've got two knights, as there probably would have been, and a place for the baron or lord to sit. I've got where the baron or lord lives, and the baron himself. And then above it, I've got the battlements. That's what it's called. And it's nice and high, vantage point, so you can see any 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 enemies coming from miles around. And that's my Martin Bailey Castle.